an example of a porokeratosis and this was excised as a solitary lesion from the arm of a middle-aged adult. A clinical query was to exclude a dysplastic lesion or a superficial basal cell carcinoma and what we have here is um, an area here of inflammation which looks very lichenoid it's in its appearance it's very band like and associated with that we've got some overlying hyperkeratosis of the epidermis if we go in and look a bit closer at this area here we can confirm we've got quite brisk lichenoid type inflammation with basal vacuolar degeneration and some colloid bodies as well so you could easily be considering a diagnosis such as a lichenoid keratosis in this clinical context of a solitary lesion and an area of lichenoid inflammation such as this. Um, but one thing to always consider when you see lichenoid inflammation um, is the possibility of porokeratosis. Um, very often what you find in porokeratosis is the central part of the lesion very often shows a lichenoid inflammatory reaction and then what you find at the edges of the lesion is that it's bordered or flanked by the diagnostic coronoid lamellae. So it's always worth just um, looking at the edge of these lichenoid lesions just to make sure you can't see any evidence of coronoid lamella formation, which may indicate a diagnosis of porokeratosis. And in fact, here, if we go to the edge of the lesion, you can see here we've got this rather angulated tear of parakeratosis here within this slightly depressed area of epidermis, which actually here does appear to be related to the equine sweat duct coming through the epithelium. So there is a cornoid lamella there at the edge, um, at that border of the lesion. And if we go to the other side here, it's a bit more subtle, but again, there probably is another cornoid lamella there. You can just start to see that little tear of parakeratosis there. And in the other, piece of tissue here, we've actually got evidence of here a coronoid lamella which appears here to in fact be related to a hair follicle in fundibulum. So again a tear of parakeratosis here and what you see at the base which is very common is where the parakeratotic tear is emanating from the epidermis you often see some dyskeratotic features uh, within the keratinocytes uh, in the epidermis so that looks related to a hair follicle there and here it looks like there's another one here again this is probably related to an equine sweat duct so again a little twisted tear of parakeratosis there within this little epidermal depression so another cornoid lamella there so this lesion is a nice example of a porokeratosis something to always just consider when you see a lichenoid um, lesion to look particularly at the edges of the lesion to see if you can see the diagnostic coronoid lamella to make your diagnosis of porokeratosis.